Hey everybody, this is Larry Kitchen, and this is Grid Drawing. Now when you start an illustration, uh, it's very common to build a grid drawing so that you can sketch very accurately from a photograph that you have. <clears throat> so what you're looking at here is uh, my hands doing a grid layout on tracing paper. I used a T-square and a one-inch grid and I'm making marks and striking lines. Now I'm going across the top edge one inch and then I'll strike the vertical lines in preparation for getting a very accurate drawing. Yeah, there's the way you spell my name in case you wondered. Now next you you write numbers or letters along the edge so I put the alphabet on the left hand side and numbers on the bottom. That uh, you do also on your photograph. There I'm showing you the photo of, I believe his name is Marty Feldman from Young Frankenstein. <clears throat> now you look at one, one spot and draw the edge line within, within that one inch. You know in drawing if you can narrow your focus down to one small section you can draw anything that you can see. And that's uh, what this grid method can teach you, that you have the ability to see exactly what you want to draw. Now you'll notice another thing that I'm doing. Uh, I don't typically do this, but just so you can see what I'm looking at, I'll follow the edge line on the photograph and then move over to the grid area and reproduce that, that edge line. <clears throat> Now I don't uh, focus in on, on shadows or on mid-tone values at all. All I want at this point is just a simplified edge line uh, to transfer to my final surface. I'm not going to do the illustration on this thin paper. It's just for layout purposes. So you don't want to spend a lot of time rendering a full, a full range of gray values. You just want to get uh, where, where the parts go, where the edges are, and then transfer that to your final illustration board, watercolor paper, or Bristol board. Any of those three are fine to work on in the final, but for grid drawing you want some inexpensive piece of work like, like this tracing paper that I'm working on now. I'm also working in a darker pencil than I normally would so that you can see it on the video. Now you'll notice that I'm slowly working my way around from um, an area. Now you, you see the large dark shadow under his nose. I'm not thinking of that as nose, I'm thinking of that as shape. And then as I use my one inch square I can tell exactly where the edge line is supposed to be. Now that fill-in that I just did underneath the nose is just for reference so that I can know that area is a dark, a dark shape. And so they're very quickly rendered. Well, speaking of quickly rendered, I've um, made this recording uh, double speed, so it's two times the normal speed. I think this total video is about six minutes, and so the entire uh, line drawing using this grid method is about um, double that, I guess 12 minutes. You'll notice I showed you a needed eraser there. I made a mistake. I wasn't uh, totally focused there, and you know, when you do make mistakes, just pull the eraser out and erase that line and redraw it where it's supposed to go. So now I'm working up along along the edge, and you'll notice I'm I'm in C3 at that point. You can reference back if you do get lost. Just look at your edges, where your letters and numbers uh, will guide you uh, to the correct mark. <clears throat> the eyes, you know, people typically think that eyes are the most difficult thing to draw. I'm not sure why, because when you see them as shape then you know they're as easy to conquer as a chin or a nose or an ear. Just have to think of them as shape. If you get uh, lost in where you're drawing just turn your grid upside down and your photograph upside down 
and uh, that will help you not think of it as a face part like a nose or an eye, but rather just a dark edge or a, or a shape to conquer. So keep training your mind to work its way back to uh, shapes and edges at this stage and it will help you work your way through uh, this very doable uh, method. The really great thing about this is that once you've you work your way through this first project using the grid you will have proven to yourself that you can draw anything you can get your hands on. So as long as you've got a printed piece of work then you can draw it very accurately. And it's not tracing. You just used a technique to sketch it out that old masters have been using for hundreds of years. The grid drawing method. So I'm drawing near to the end here. And so what you're seeing is this first step completed as your grid drawing. I hope yours goes as well. Follow these steps and I think they really will. We'll see you next time in painting class, basic illustration.